All right, I got this thing backed in here. I've sanded it down, I've washed it off. Try to get all the, everything ready for a coat of primer. Should be good to go. So I'm about to start on that and try to get this thing primed up so I can paint it. Tired of messing with it already. A lot of work, a lot of hours in this thing. They had a lot of hours in uh, putting all this new metal in this thing. They did a really good job, but hopefully I can get it. Primer knocked out this evening. I was trying to do it the other day, but Mother's Day kind of fell in the way, so this is the first chance I've had since. We got a little rain last night. So, figured I better spend the time wisely. A little downtime. We'll see if I can get this thing done. Well, I'm having an insane amount of trouble with this one. These dogs ain't gonna shut up. So I'm having a lot of trouble. This ain't going good at all. Um, I'm using a different paint uh, primer because I was using John Deere on all my stuff, but John Deere's primer is yellow. So, but this stuff I got at Tractor Supply is so thick it won't go through my paint gun. <sighs> it's always something. So I have no choice but to try to thin this stuff down. Ignore all my junk. So I'm gonna try to thin it down and uh, hope it comes out of that gun a little better. All right, I'm finally getting back on this project here. I'm gonna start painting on it. The bugs are bad tonight. So I'm really hoping they don't mess me up, but I gotta get this deal done. I'm fighting time. I, I mean, I just can't put stuff off any longer. I'm trying to fit little things like this in any chance I can. Just trying to squeeze stuff in. I knew I didn't have time for this project when I took it on, but. I didn't even really want to take it on. So I'm just trying to do him a favor, but anyway, we got it primered the other night and I'm gonna go ahead and start painting it. See how this goes.
up everybody this evening I'm headed to go fill the drills up with Milo and get to get the Milo in the ground um, I haven't got any footage today I uh, painted that trailer last night I didn't realize time was getting away from me I got in about after 3 a.m. Uh, <clears throat> anyway I got the trailer painted Except for the inside. I was going to do that today, but I've been on a sprayer all day. And uh, now I'm going to try to pull an all nighter and get all this Milo in the ground or get a bunch of it in the ground. My brother in law is going to uh, come relieve me at about 7 30, 8 o'clock tomorrow morning. So it's a little after 8 now. So I'm trying to get all this. Hopefully, I'll get going good before it gets too dark, but I'm afraid I ain't going to beat the sunset. But busy busy right now trying to get everything good hoping next week I can get everything caught up next week kind of slow down some but see how it goes but that's the plan I'm using that crust buster drill I got it set on uh, 20 inch spacing and uh, it's set on nine pounds the acre which is normally on 10 pounds or normally on 10 inch spacing so I plugged every other hole should it should get on 20 inch spacing and get it down to uh it should be right around four and a half pounds but i know how that kind of goes it's probably gonna be putting about six down i don't know uh, another farmer around me he says uh always shoot for five nutrient egg told me to shoot for two and a half to three but so hopefully i don't put too much out but we'll see how it goes i hope i got them things shut down good enough and everything goes smooth I hope it's hard to tell on a 40 foot drill good shouldn't take but like 30 bags to do this whole place so you could dump them all in you won't know until the end whether you're <laughs> whether you're close or not so we'll see how it goes though that's the plan well we'll beat the sunset at least now the hard part I gotta fill this drill up see the what an idiot looks like right here um when i was spraying today i forgot to grab my receiver off my sprayer and bring it back with me so i gotta go get it oh poor man problems he just can't have a receiver on everything he own all right we're finally rolling it's gonna be a long night it's our uh, 9 45 right now i'm just making my first pass been a heck of a day but hopefully everything's set right goes good i need a win I'm tired of taking the l's lately need something to go right hopefully everything goes good got a moth flying around in here there's a little wash i got a moth flying around in here and bugging me i guess it rained hard enough here to cause a couple of new little washes they weren't here the other day right there i was looking back i wasn't looking forward i gotta pay attention this moth flying around is bugging me wish i could catch him on the back glass again i was open that up 
set him free. <sighs> I mean, I'll check my seat depth and all, all that good stuff here. Just a little bit. We'll make this end of this pass and look. Our seat depth is okay. I just hope our rate is right. It's gonna be super hard to tell until we get several hours into this thing. Well, I've been kind of doing the math and I have, I put 19 bags of seed in this drill. Uh, I have the drill set on nine pounds of the acre and I plugged every other hole so that'd be four and a half pounds of the acre like I said earlier. Anyway, 315 acres here and uh, I got nine bags of seed left so that gives me 28 bags, 50 pounds, be 1400 pounds of seed but I'm gonna need 315 acres at four and a half pounds. Well, that's 1417.5. Be really close on seed. Um, that's if it puts out correctly, though. It's very hard to get these drills to not put out too much. So I guess we'll see what happens if I come up way short, which I know I'm going to need some more because when you're spread out across a 40 foot drill, can't get every seed to go to the hole you need it to go to because you get plugged off every other one. There'll be a lot sitting there. When I get to the real low on seed, it's gonna be a, a mess. So I'm probably gonna be some short on some seed to get this done, not to get some more. May is not really my concern. It's June and July and August. It's usually June gets here and that's the trouble around here when June gets here if the rain shuts off our crops burn up. If it'll rain a little through June and buy us time through July, because it never rains in July, hardly ever, and it's super hot, it makes a huge difference. But we'll see what happens this year. We never know. Stuff could come up, sprout good, and it could shut off and just die immediately. But for now, I mean, I do got subsoil moisture here, so. I think it's gonna be in good shape and they give us a chance for next Sunday for some rain. So don't know how good it looks, but we'll see. So my pre-emergence, uh, they were supposed to send me 120 gallons of warrant and they only sent me 90 gallons. And then I was supposed to get, I can't remember how much atrazine now I would order. Uh, they shorted me a little bit of atrazine too. I can't remember the exact total. I could get back to you on that. But anyway, it was at night. I mean, they all seen the video, um, or y'all will. But I came to spray and I realized it and I was like, there's nothing I can do now. I can either wait and it's gonna rain and I'm gonna miss the rain or I can just cut it in half and spray half of it in each load and just hope it works. Well, that's what I did. And I think that would have worked, but um, with their bad chemical they sent me, it didn't. So not only did they short me, and I get it. I mean, it's tough right now to to get a chemical uh, with the shortages and all. I mean, I wasn't mad, mad, but I was kind of upset. And I told the, or my rep, I was like, hey, I know y'all make it right, so... He said, we'll make it right with you. We'll respray it or we'll help you. You know, if it doesn't work, we'll help you out on some different chemical or whatever. But I was like, all right, as long as you take care of me, it's, you know, we'll make it right. But shout out to Nutrient Egg for that. I'm, I'm glad they'll at least take care of you when they make a mistake. But if I would have noticed it sooner, I would have just got more chemical and then come sprayed it. But you got time everything just right with rains and whatnot. You can't just wait around. and I. I didn't even pay attention until it was time to spray and I took off and then I realized it. So anyway, they shorted me chemical for one and then there was, I believe there's four cases of warrant. So eight jugs that were for 2018 and it was old and they, 
when you go to dump them in, they'd be about half of it would come out, and the other half was just stuck to the bottom of the jug and set up, and it wasn't good. So I was afraid that they wouldn't, between being shorted and not being potent enough, it wasn't going to work. And sure enough, I don't think it did. I mean, there's spots in this field as clean as can be. This is all clean through here, but there's spots that's getting woolly again, so no, it didn't work. And it got rained in perfect. I mean, it should have worked. So anyway. Um, I'll cross that bridge when I get to it try to keep this field clean but I hope I can and I hope I need a win I'm tired of these crop failures so anyway I think they'll take care of me and we'll get it all squared away if it doesn't rain it ain't gonna matter Well, there ain't much seed left, but it might be enough to finish this. We're not real sure, but my relief showed up this morning. I'm very thankful for that because I was getting tired. But uh, I guess now is the end of this video. I'm gonna go see if I can track down some more seed. Make sure we get done. I just need a few bags. Surely someone has some. So y'all keep digging. Like and subscribe. See y'all next time.